We are recording and oh, one, two, three, action. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to my beautiful channel called Designing with Margot, where we're designing beautiful things for your house, for you. Um, today I'm gonna teach you a trick. Oh yeah. So imagine this, you go and you get these beautiful flowers, um, wherever you get them, flower market, you order them, flower shop, whatever it is, and they break, okay? So this is what happens. This beautiful, gorgeous ranunculus, but guess what? It broke. And then you get another one and it like tears, or then even worse, they just completely bend. Okay, so how do we fix it? Because the actual flower is in an amazing condition okay so what do we do so i'm going to teach you what we're going to do and then with all of these basically leftovers we're going to design inside teacups so we can have a cute little tea party okay let's go so you see this now can i teach you a lesson about ranunculus these are actually from a local Niagara region, um, Niagara region farmer, Virgil. Uh, they have the most beautiful ranunculuses. Now, ranunculuses on their own are a hollow flower. So their stems are very uh, thick and they are literally, if I cut them, you will see that they are like hollow basically okay so they're very thick and they have like a straw okay that's the thing with ranunculus it looks like a literally a um the neck of a bird okay that's how i call it like literally that is how i uh kind of call this flower because of all the fluffiness and everything and one of my favorite flowers when you get them fresh they will i mean sometimes i get these beautiful ranunculuses and they last me i swear to god like two weeks like these are stunning stunning flowers okay so for you to be able to fix your broken flowers and mind you it does apply to other florals so other hefty stems like the rose whatever it is that i'm going to tell you now it does apply to other flowers but this particular one, because it's so hollow and broken, I'm gonna work on these specific flowers, okay? For your fixing pleasure, you would need some sort of a scissors or cutters. I use mine, you know that I use the um, Oasis Supply floral products, okay? And I have them on my Amazon store, or if you have anything that you can use like this at, at home, these cutters are amazing because I use them for both floral and metal and tape work. So I interchange between them. That's why I love them so much. I will have also some green tape, some floral tape. And the other thing that you would need is metal wire. Okay, this is a floral wire. It's quite soft. It just bends down and penetrates through flowers, which is key. So what we're going to do right now is this. I'm going to show you the aftermath of what I've done so you have an idea of what we're looking for. We're looking for hardening the actual stem by putting wire through and protecting our um, bent stem, okay? So what I would wanna do is I would wanna enter into the stem from two ways. One, which is here like this, and then from the other side of the stem, which you will go around, and you will go from the other side of the stem. So it will come out literally looking like this. So that your step number one, you will put through one, you will put it through like this, you will pull through here, you will pull through like this, Now you have, let's cut the stem a little bit shorter. So now what you have is literally the stem and the two wires. 
then you will take it and you will create a hardening braid over like this you will rotate it now if you would like to make it a little bit harder and stable for you to design you could attach to the stem depends how bad the stem is a shish kebab and you will kind of rotate it around it okay so this is what i'm going to do right now so i penetrated our wires i have attached a shish kebab near it and now i'm gonna go around it okay And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the tape because I wanna hide all my work that I've done and I'm going to wire it like this gently. And I'm gonna hide all of my mechanics like this. So the stem, like that. Okay, so the stem becomes stable and I can work with it and still save the flower. Okay, so here I've done it because my stem was just short, but I still wanted to work with it. So I just hardened it with the wire. So on here, I will literally just use this to hide the stem. So here on this particular stem, I'll keep it short and I'll keep it just with the wire. And I will just go down like that and I will cut it off and it will be ready. So now... I have two stems that are ready to be worked with. This particular one, I mean, I could save it. So basically the whole idea is that I want to save it because I need it longer or because the head is bobbing, right? Here, maybe I'll keep it. I'll just cut it short and I will just use it as a small. So I don't need the stem, right? Um, let's see here. It is broken and you see it is hollow. So I would probably need to put a kind of shish kebab action okay near here like this to hold it together and to create stability right now the wire could be used for the head to stabilize it you could potentially it depends on your particular project how hardcore you need the wiring but let's say you just want the shish kebab to harden the actual stem oh there flies my shish kebab you could just potentially put it like this and just wire it okay but the thing that you need to remember is that where the flower is broken that's where the flower will be drinking water okay so that's the entryway of the flower right so you see how broken it is the entryway will be here so make sure that you position it where water could penetrate here okay guys FYI so maybe we're not gonna do it too long. We're gonna cut it right there so that when we are gonna cut it, it's still gonna be strong, but the penetration for the flower is still exposed. So the flower could drink it, right? And these, honestly, these ranunculuses are beyond, beyond, yeah, anything. Local, I'm very proud. Okay. Again, see how hollow the ranunculus is? Okay, it's very, very hollow. Now, again, what did I just say? Um, the flowers will be drinking from this area. So even though you could put potentially, you know, a long shish kebab, making it long, just remember where the flowers will be drinking the water from. So it is maybe for one night event, okay? so. This is how you fix your flowers, guys. So now you're able to have these long stem florals and you're able to save them. So all you would need, again, let's repeat it. You would simply need your floral wire. You would need your cutters of some sort. I use my Oasis Floral Supplies. And you would need your broken flowers, okay? something like this. Again, I'm going to show you your broken flowers that could be put together by wire and shish kebab um, sticks. Okay. So now that we have that out of the way, 
I would like to use some of my leftover stamps to create this cute, super little, super dainty. Uh, now, when I have something little, either I use it um, on some sort of area like not even a coffee table because coffee table, are st it's still quite large and we need an impactful piece. It would need a um, an area maybe like a side table, entrance table, or if you would like and you have a couple of them, you could absolutely cluster them and create a floral centerpiece. Something like that, I took my existing espresso cups that I have and I literally put oasis in there with water. Now, let's create our particular centerpiece. I am going to cut it on 45 degree angle like I've done it here and just keep on putting things here, creating. I do have bigger flowers and smaller flowers. I'm going to see if I like to have my roses in there as well or am I going to mix and match it. I'm going to just reflex my rose here. I'm going to see how I like it, if I like it in there. First I'm going to open it up and see if I even want it there and which, you know, which kind of way I would like to display it. I do have some buds. So I think I'm going to create this whimsical look like this. I also have this beautiful peony that got broken up like this and I almost feel it deserves its own teacup. I think we need to shorten this a bit. 45 degree. Again, we can put it on the side and have some perhaps even anemones, oh anemones, ranunculus is going from that side and that side. Um, Oh my god, it's so pretty. I have a couple of roses here. I have the quicksand in here. Then I have the ranunculuses. I have the white peonies. And then I have the vandellas and the playa blancas, which are two types of white or cream or beige rose, if you must. Buds are very cute. And they add this whimsicalness, -ness, -ness, ness, whimsicalness, ness, ness. Is that a word? And then we have the last one that I'm gonna work on. And what do we have? Do we have another peony here? This is a different peony. We have two different peonies. So both of them are. One of them is local. One of them is import. This is the local one. Um, if you can see, there is a little bit of a pink tinge to it and when it opens up it has yellow seeds versus this one right here it's an import and it's compute pure white with a hint of yellow inside but still this is considered the more pure white one so I think I'm going to use this one uh, just because I have the blushes going on there and I'm going to again cut it on the 45 degree angle I know it sounds kind of a pain in the butt the whole 45 degree angle there's a merit to it my friends what else can i do here we're gonna have another bud It does need to look more organic, so I think I'm going to put it in the same kind of direction. Maybe even twirl it like this, so we can go on the other side of it a bit. And let's display our cute little centerpieces. However, with the handle to this side or to that side, 
and voila. And there we go. I'm going to show you from another angle. Okay. And from the top. And there we have it. These beautiful, beautiful, super cute teacup centerpieces that you can create at home with some of your broken or leftover flowers. Always use the flowers. I always say that there's ways to make yourself happy. And one way is to surround yourself with these beautiful flowers all day long, every day, day in, day out, week in, week out, self-care. Am I right? I'm going to also show you this beautiful pink peony because I mean one beautiful thing this is this is a peony season June is peony season so maybe I'll if you would like I will do another cute little video on peonies just get you a little bit educated and show you the different varieties because these are absolutely stunning I thank you for being me with me today I, I hope you have an amazing week I hope you enjoyed this episode. Comment link and uh, comment link. No, comment and share and subscribe. I love you lots. Thank you so much. And I'll see you soon. Which song should we sing with this one? I should do this TikTok. <sighs> Literally, this is the TikTok for it. I am telling you. I am telling you. I am telling you. Can we have some music? Okay, let me just put peony season music. Okay. Nope. Let's go. This is like Cantia, pure filtered milk in a bottle. Okay, it's so we're gonna filtered, skip the so commercials. Once in a lifetime, you make me discover Stars above us, you wanted a million Oh, NPS, I'm a flower snob. Woo!